This is Joe with Joe'sAstrophoto.com and today we're going to go over reducing stars in your images. If you've seen my Capturing the Rosette Nebula video, you'll know that I wasn't able to get the, all the narrowband images that I wanted to get because of the clouds that came through and then the full moon. But since then I've finally been able to get them. I got about 30 shots of each at about 10 minute sub exposures. And I went ahead and stacked them and processed them. And I want to use those images today to show three different ways of doing star reduction. So let's get started. So here's my finished image of the Rosette Nebula. I've saved it as a TIFF because I want to use the Starnet++ to remove the stars. You don't need to do that if you're using PixInsight. PixInsight now comes with uh, Starnet built in. What you do need to do is go to a website called SourceForge.net and get the files, the library files, and you do need to populate these. When you first install this, yours should be blank. You click on the wrench and then you'll go to the folder where these are located and, and you'll populate these. Otherwise, you'll get errors when you try and run it. Um, we could run it like this, just like this, and it'll remove all the stars. And that looks like this, which is kind of cool, but I don't want to remove all of the stars because now it looks, to me, it doesn't look right without stars. It's just that I don't want this many stars in my image. So there's another script that I have called the Easy Processing Suite, and it's Easy Star Reduction. And it's in beta, so it gives you a lot of warnings that, you know, it might crash, you might lose data, so make sure everything's saved before you use this. And basically, all you need to do is tell it what view you want to do this on. Well, I've made a clone so I don't um, mess, mess up this one. I've made a clone of it. I called it Image 10 Clone or that's what it called itself. Yeah, that really doesn't matter. And then the star mask, I'm going to let it generate its own star mask. And there's two choices here and you want to use Atom Blocks de-emphasis method. And then you can let it create a star mask. Here it goes creating it. I should have opened up the image 10 clone first, but that's okay. It looks just like this image. And this is going to take a few minutes, so I'll come back when it's done. It's at 12%. So it's almost done. It's taken about two minutes to get here. And it's made the mask, and now I'm just going to run the easy star reduction. And this should roughly take another couple minutes, so I'll be back when it's done. Okay, and this one took up just under two minutes. We're finished. I'm going to close this. We're going to move this over. This is our original. And this is our new one. And as you can see from looking at this image here, just taking this cluster of stars, and this cluster of stars, you can see that it's removed quite a few stars. However, the, it, it hasn't really reduced the brightness all that much, but it has a little bit. See, this star was, is pretty bloated here. And here, it's just a little bit more subdued. Same here. This star, and let's zoom in a little bit. This star, um, other than being a little egg-shaped, is, is a little blown out and it's got a halo around it. And this star isn't quite as bad. So it's, it's just lowered it slightly. Is it enough? I don't know. That's, I guess I'd let you be the judge of that one. Um, I was hoping to see it remove a few little bit more than that. But again, I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to create a mask. I didn't have to do anything except for come and run the easy 
script. So for me, it was worth it to try it out. Now let me show you another method in Photoshop. Before we get started in Photoshop, I need to show you real quick how to run StarNet for Windows. So if you don't have PixInsight and you do have um, Photoshop, or even if you don't have Photoshop, you can still make a starless image with just using um, the StarNet++ program. And I'll include that down in the description below where you can download that. But in here, how you would run it, you would type in CMD in the search bar and it would open up a command prompt. And then you need to go to where um, the StarNet is installed. And so that's on my G drive. And we're going to change directory to StarNet underscore win, which is what it's called. And once we're in the directory, you would run um, RGB underscore StarNet plus plus. They also have a mono in case you wanted to do a, a, a mono photo but we're doing an RGB so it's RGB underscore starnet plus plus and then the name of your file and in my case I have it in the G drive under starnet and the file name is rosette stars dot tiff and then you want the output and I want it in the same folder, so again, I'm going to type that out. And I'm going to call this one Rosette Starless. And hit enter. And it's going to go through, and this should take about a minute or two. So I'll come back as soon as it's finished. Okay, we're finished. So now let's take a look at the files. I've got um, the Explorer here. And here we have the Rosette with Stars and the Starless image that was just produced. So we're going to open these up in Photoshop. Okay, here we have the Starless one, and here we have the one with Stars. So we're going to take the starless one and we're going to add a new layer. And then we're going to come to the one with stars. We're going to select all, copy it, come back to the one without stars, and we're going to paste it in the new layer. And then the new layer, we're going to take the opacity and we're going to just take it down to about 50%, 54%. And this is another way to reduce the stars. And I think 54% was a little low, so I'm going to try maybe 68%. So just for fun, I'm going to do a save as. And I'm going to call this um, Rosette Star Reduction. And we'll just leave it as it, just as it was. And we'll go back into here and we'll view it. Side by side with our stars. And so you could see the difference. And the thing that kind of bothers me about this particular type of star reduction is that in the center, I really like the way that these bright stars shone through the center of the Rosette Nebula. But I really like how the stars uh, outside of the nebula are very subdued in comparison to the image that we made in PixInsight. So let me bring that up as well. Okay, here's the image from PixInsight running the easy star reduction and here's our image from Photoshop at 68% with the star mask and honestly I'm not seeing that much of a difference I can tell that at 68% it's just a little bit dimmer 
than what we did in Picks and Sight. And in Picks and Sight, maybe there's a little, a few less stars, but really I'm just having a hard time telling the difference between the two. So there's one last method I want to try. And I'm going to come back over here to the Rosette Stars TIFF, our original, where the stars are at 100%. And I want to try um, to do a star reduction inside of this action group that I bought. It's Astronomy Tools uh, version 1.6.2. It's about $20. And I do use it from time to time. If you're um, going to be doing most of your post processing in Photoshop. I think it's a must have. Uh, I've since switched to Pics and Sites, so I really don't use this that much. But there, there are some nice tools in here. I'll, I'll leave the link to the in the description below so that you can get it. There's an action in here called Make Stars Smaller. So the way you do that is to highlight it, and I usually um, duplicate the layer just so that if I don't like it I could delete it and we'll run this with the little play button and this will take a second as well okay and it's finished already and let's save this as well as a TIFF in the same area and AT for astronomy tools we'll save that And now let's open up the astronomy tools and the pics and sight images and see if we could tell a difference. And I think that, again, it's pretty difficult to tell the difference between the two. Here's the original image with all the stars at full brightness. And you could definitely tell a difference. So there you have it. Three different ways to make your stars smaller or do star reduction. And you could actually take one of the, the Photoshop way and using StarNet++ and reduce it as much as you want. So that's a pretty powerful tool. You can continue to make this just as you can go down to nothing or you could just bring in a little bit of stars again all of this is a uh, artist prerogative if you want something true to life then you don't want to be removing any of the stars in the first place well if you like this type of content please give me a like and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video